Bruno and we are making little Johnny cakes with the seeds grind into flour from Lamandra Longfolia and this is the flour and that we grind earlier so we got to we've had a, that with a little bit of the self raisin and we're gonna cook it and um, yeah have something to eat I really like the texture like flatbread yeah. So if there was like a little grit iron, like a little, I'd cook it over the flames. Mm, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, more like a pizza base sort of thing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, that's um different texture, texture that um I know all about now. Yeah. Uh, working with them seeds from the Lamandra longfolia, and the other common name is the spiny mat rush, and um. Actually, it was nice to taste them. It's yeah. like a nutty, buttery yeah. seeds. Yeah. Yeah. I believe that they got some nice oils in them. Healthy oils. Definitely. Full of protein. Mm. Okay, this is a, the cooked Johnny Cake from the Lamandra Longfolia seeds. And um, it's really, really nice, actually. It's, it's a little bit um, dense, but it's plain. Um, it's got a, a nutty, crumbly, nutty flavour in it. Yeah. Um, and it's not modified, it's just really organic. I love the texture of it. The flavour is just... Yeah, it's really It's really strong. nice. Mm. Yeah, I'll have some more. Mm. <laughs> Cheers. Old man saltbush seed after it's been collected from the field. You can see it's a little bit trashy, but all we're going to do right now, I'm just going to really simply shake it around and, and decant most of the, the trash off the top. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect because um, we're going to roast this up and grind it in a fairly small proportion into the flour. Uh, we have the saltbush leaves mixed in it as well, but that's okay because leaves are edible as well off this plant. Obviously, they're not going to impart the exact type of texture we want to a dough, um, so I'll remove most of them, but it's not going to be bad for flavour and it's definitely not going to be bad for your health, so it's fine to have a little bit of trash in these. And next all I'm going to do, I'm just going to put it in small quantities in a normal bread maker. This is very low tech. <laughs> um, obviously if you were doing this in bigger batches you'd, um, you wouldn't use a bread maker. But I just roast them on here very lightly because I can do it quickly for small batches and it le uses less energy and is faster than the oven. But you can do this on a hot plate um, or you could do it on a barbecue. Then just give it 30 seconds or a minute and then once they go brown, uh, we'll take them off um, and then we're going to start to grind them up to flour. <laughs> I just finished grinding the old man salty bush um, leaves and uh, it's very thin like it just sort of um, I just use this ground grinder and um, it, it just turned into a very thin flower and it just tastes like um, a bark of a tree but uh, it's quite salty and um, nutty woody it's just something I haven't I haven't tasted before it's it's just really beautiful our pizza base and we're going to put some lovely tomato bush tomato paste all over the bush 
the 90 grain base for our pizza. And um, I smell that lovely bush tomato seasoning. And on top of that, we're going to put some parsley, some nice fresh. This is going to give us the freshness in our pizza, and it's also good for you. And last but not least, um, just a sprinkle with some cheese to give it that, um, well you can't have pizza without a little bit of cheese. And a little bit of crunch, you want to have some ruby saltbush, which is also a native bush tucker. And there we have it. A native bush pizza made out of native grains and native herbs. Today we are needing some native um, flour from native grasses that we harvest and grind the seeds to make the flour and now we're gonna make a little dough which we have and we're kneading it and then we're gonna make something little johnny cake damper uh, which, which uh, seeds are we using again we are using um some of the mitchell yeah the native mitchell seeds that we grind into flour and we're just kneading the dough and um, yeah, we're gonna make a little, a little damper. Yes, we also added some wattle seeds as oh, well. Oh yes, some grains. Yes, yeah. So we added some wattle seeds um, to the flour as well for texture, flavour. Yeah. Good, thank you. Oh, I see ya. These little bread buns, rolls we made out of um, the Mitchell seeds into flour and then we use the yeast and also some mulga seeds and we made little bread rolls and they're absolutely delicious with a bit of oblong jam. Johnny cakes. Mm. <laughs> Yum.